My basin's blocked. Can you help me, plum dog? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. Alrighty, so I'm at the upstairs basin and the ensuite. Uh, first thing I notice is some Drano crystals on the side there, which I'm not a fan of. So just run the tap there and just check that yes, the basin is definitely blocked. Put some drop sheets down and some towels and then proceed to open up the, the waste trap underneath the basin there. And it's clear here, which makes me think that the blockage is not in the pipe more so in the basin or trap so i tip the trap wastewater out into a bucket there and you can see the buildup of drano crystals there's not really a blockage in there which you'd expect to see and just shine a torch down the waste pipe there and you can see a bit of a buildup of grime and what have you but again there's no actual blockage in the waste pipe itself just a bit of grime there because the waste water has been running slow for a little while now as you can see the basin is still holding the water yet there's nothing attached underneath so all there is is that little bit of pipe running from the basin to the trap so the blockage has to be in this waste pipe section that I'm unscrewing now and there you can go there you can see once the air's been allowed to enter that pipe empties that's why we use towels and buckets you never know what you're gonna find and then if I take out this bit of 40 mil waste pipe you can see that the blockage is inside here I right, just discard of that in there for now. And you can see that there's also build up there inside the plug and waste fitting. So it's a localized blockage. So take it all the fittings and trap what have you outside to the garden tap just to give it a, a thorough rinse through. Try and remove as much of that grime and build up as possible using one hand while it's holding the camera phone. It's a lot easier using two hands. So here's the waste pipe cleaned out. Now it's time to clean out the 40 mil waste trap. Same thing, just a build up there of soap and scum. Not so much hair, which the customer thought it might be. So that is cleaned up as best we can. Now, if we take off a trap, we always replace with a new washer set because those washers do perish over time. So if we're going to reinstall something, do it correctly. And just pushing all that grime through the plug and waste there with scissors or screwdriver or whatever's close by. And just discard of all that grime and scum. Get rid of all the old thread tape off there. And on with the new. So the thread tape here is to actually seal the uh, the MNF pipe fitting to the plug and waste there to make it watertight. And screw on the new the trap with the new fittings. Run the basin, basin's running clear. Check all the fittings underneath to make sure there's no leaks, make sure there's no drips. And yeah, to be fair, this customer has used kitchen Drano, which is more relevant for um, grease blockage, but regardless, I'm not a fan. I don't think it works at all, but that's just my opinion. There's a blockage in a basin or a sink. There's usually something a little bit more involved and it's best to ring a licensed plumber to come and investigate and to clear it all out properly. Job done. 
Alrighty, job done. The customer's got their ensuite basin back flowing. Uh, if you've got any uh, blockage problems, give us a call at Plum Dog and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Hey, where are you going?